it was 18 plus adults only and therefore may contain explicit or technical language, realistic and anatomically correct naked dolls or sculptures, dangerous customization techniques, including sharp blades, power tools, or hot equipment, and mature discussions of politics, sociology, and philosophy. Please do not watch this video unless you are 18 years of age or older. You can help me a lot by telling me if an ad played before this video. Thank you. Hello, this is C Hedgehog, and you're here again on my channel, Justin Sober Ernest. And I have a box opening. So this is for my spinning. And I'm super excited about this. Um, so I got this from Etsy. I'm hoping that it'll say, so I got it from Blue Barn Fiber. And it is these, these beautiful bats. This is called Kingfisher. I'm hoping to do some spinning with it. I decided for my first spinning that I wasn't going to do the hard way and like get just loose wool that I would then card. I was kind of gonna do it the bougie way <laughs> and get pre-prepared batting, um, or I think these are called rulags. Um, that I could then just directly spin and have something fun and beautiful um, that I could just do something with and be happy. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm gonna spin on my electric eel wheel nano and I'm really excited about that. It's a colorway called Kingfisher. Um, so I think what you do, I haven't really started, I think you kind of just pinch it off and then start spinning. I've only spun, I think I talked about this, or maybe, you know what, I didn't actually show the box opening, so let me show you it right here. Uh, I always try to post things equally to Instagram and um, YouTube for this reason, but this is the Electric Eel Wheel Nano. Um, and it is an electric spinning wheel. And it's got like all these adapter parts and stuff. Um, pretty cool. But I have only ever, it like comes in this box with a whole bunch of extra crap because the family member who got it for me, I I don't think they understood that I wanted the simple version. No, I, I very much appreciate it. It's just, it's extra money to buy all the parts that came with it. Um, but they're just like extra, extra bobbins for when you fill it up. Um, but anyway, I have only ever spun yarn on a drop spindle. So this is going to be interesting starting not on a drop spindle. I don't even have my drop spindle anymore. So I have to go immediately to this and learn how to use it. I'm going to be like binging YouTube videos. I always, I already watched a bunch, but I watched one in particular and I've heard from people on Instagram that there is a learning curve to this um and it's like very difficult to get started initially and then it's okay so i think i'm gonna be like watching youtube videos as i work on this and then hopefully i can get going and spin this up and have some fun fiber but it's got like i don't know if this is called like angel hair or angel angeline maybe is this like um tinsel, this very fine tinsel, um, and it's, I think, a, um, like a Tussa silk merino, like, I went all out. It's super bougie yarn, or bougie, uh, fiber, um, but I learned, that I heard, so the person who taught me to sew in, like, a formal class, I learned, sorry, the person who taught me to use a sewing machine in a formal class, I learned to sew for my grandmother. I learned to hand sew for my mom, learned to sew on a sewing machine for my grandmother, and then I learned to use the sewing machine that I have right now, the Baby Blue Lock Crafter's Choice, at a sewing repair shop um, from this woman who always said, uh, you should always buy, like, like when you're just starting out, buy the highest grade thing that you're capable of buying because it will make the process of learning enjoyable and thus buy like the highest end thing that you can because it will make the learning process enjoyable and thus you'll want to do it again. So I don't know that you needed to spend, you know, I didn't, I don't know that you need to get the bougiest yarn, but I decided that I wanted processed fiber um, and I decided I'd do it in a fun color so that as I'm learning, I get something that I'm actually excited about knitting or crocheting. Um, so that's the idea behind this. So weekend project. 
，拜。